Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to install Window Builder with Eclipse to be able to create Java graphical interfaces easily. So for the moment I have created a Java project with Eclipse, but if I try to add a new Java interface, and when I click on File, then New, then Other, in this list I don't find Window Builder, so I need to install it. So let's go to the navigator. And let's type Eclipse Window Builder. Now, if I want to install it, I have to open this link, Installing Window Builder Pro. Then in this page, it is mentioned how I can install this Window Builder. So I can install it from the zip file. In this case, I have to download this zip file. So let's click on link to download the zip file. And now let's click on download. Now I can save this zip file on my computer, but I, have, but I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the zip file that I have already downloaded, which is this one. So let's install it into Eclipse. So to install this zip file, I have to go to help, then install new software. Then in this window, I have to click on Add, then Archive, then I have to provide the path of this zip file. So I have selected it, then Open, then I have to click on Add. So in this list, I will have these two options. So I will select both of them, then I have to click Next. Now I have to click on Next again. I have to accept the terms of the license, then I have to click on finish. Now it will be installed with Eclipse, of course this will take few seconds. So now the window builder has been installed correctly, but I need to restart Eclipse, so let's restart it. So let's, click, let's close this window and now as you can see this project is always empty but this new button has been created. It allows me to create a new Java interface. So if I click here I can create a new Java interface of type GFrame. So to create this GFrame I can either click here on this button then swing then GFrame or I can go to a file then new then other and in this list I have window builder so if I open it I see that I can create using swing designer I can create this gframe so let's select this gframe then let's click on next now this frame I will call it main frame and then I will click on finish So this is the source code and if I want to switch to the designer I have to click on design here. So this is the source code and this is the designer. Of course it will be opened so I have to wait a few seconds. And in this designer as you can see I have several areas. So this is the zone of the different available components into the frame. This zone is for the properties and this zone is for the available components that I can add to my uh, interface. So, first of all, if I select this uh, frame, I will have its properties here. So, as you can see in the property for the layout, I am actually using a border layout. So, I will modify this border layout to use this absolute layout which allows me to put the different components where I want. Also, I will modify the title of this frame. So the title, I have to select the frame, then I have to find the title property, and here I will call it uh, main frame. Let's hit enter, and as you can see, the title has been set. 
now let's add few components to this uh, window so I will add first of all a label so I click on label once then I put the label where I want so let's modify the size of this label also I will modify the text so the label is selected I go to properties and for the text I will call it first name also I will add a gtext field I will call this gtext field as tf for text field then first name So I want it to be empty. Also, I will add another label. Also, I will add another G-Label, so I will put it here. And this label, I will provide it with a different name, so I will call it LB Welcome. Also, I want it to be empty because I will fill it using uh, Java code. And finally, at the end of this window, I will just add two buttons. So the first button, I will call it BTN OK. And I will add a text OK into this button. For the second button, I will call it BTN Clear. And for the text, it will be just clear. Now, I can test this interface without building the Java code. So I can just click on this button to make this window appear. So as you can see, this is the window. So I can close it. And also now I can add some listeners to this uh, interface. So if I make double click on this button, I can implement the listener for this button. But before doing this, let's go to the source. So in the source, as you can see, the text field uh, TF first name and TF last name has been created as global variables but the different other components has been created as local components so for the case of uh, label welcome i want it to be a global variable so i will uh, move the declaration of this variable so i copy this then i remove the declaration from this location so i go to the beginning of this class and i put the declaration here now this label becomes a global variable of this class let's go back to the designer and now let's make double click on this button to implement the listener so in this listener of the first button all what i will make is to read the first uh, text field and the second text field then i will put the different values into the lb welcome which is another label Now let's make the same thing with the cancel button. So I will go back to the designer and here double click on uh, clear. So here all what I will make is to make all the fields clear. Let's 
save this file now I can run it so I make a right click then run as then Java application and as you can see this is the interface so let's provide the first name let's call it for example Bill then Gates then let's click on OK so this is the text the welcome text that I obtain I can click on clear and if I modify the text without clicking on OK I can also make it clear again so I can also close this window so the application will be stopped let's see this as you can see the application stopped so this is all for this video I hope it is useful for you please subscribe to the channel